Hello everyone, my name is Oyen, how are we all doing? Hope you're all well and blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. So, we get straight into it. Uh, this week has been very interesting, very interesting. I kind of, um, after last week, talking about being intentional with the Lord Almighty God and just sort of, you know, understanding that it really isn't within your power. It's not by might, not by power, but by the Spirit of the living God. I kind of like took a seat, took a back seat and was like, what do I mean by that? And I kind of like stopped and was like, okay, so how am I, how am I going through this journey? How am I navigating through this journey? And I recognized as I've been doing like research, listening to great men of God and, and just trying to in, embed myself in the word of God. It's really impossible to do it without his grace and it's even harder to do it without a heart. One of the reasons why I'm on this journey is because number one, he chose me. Great, thank the Lord. <laughs> but also because I love him. Ultimately, I love him. Do you know what I mean? Like, I absolutely love the Lord Almighty God. I am nothing without him. Ugh. I mean, like, ugh. Like, with him, I am. Without him, I am. Um, so, understanding that everything has got to be done in love is one of the most crucial aspects of this Christian walk. If anything, I think it's the most important thing. I mean, there's a scripture that says, you know, if you can prophesy, but there is no love, what use is that? If you can heal, you know, but without love, what use is that? If you can raise the dead, but you have no love. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, it, it is absolutely pointless. And that's one of the things that has really um, kind of inspired me to talk about it today. Like, we need love. I need love. Not I need love. I mean, I, yes, I love love. But I mean, I need to make sure that I'm immersed in love, that I'm doing everything out of love. Even if it inconveniences myself, you know. Um, I kind of now have brought myself to the level after so many years of procrastination and doing this and doing things my own way and recognising that, hey, it's not gonna work out my way. I kind of now thought to myself, okay, let, let's, let's do it the way God really wants it to be done. And that is love. So it's not coming from a place of, well, I don't know, how do I put this? It can't be how I want things to be done and it can't be the way I understand things to be done. I cannot lean on my own understanding. I have to do ultimately what God wants me to do and I have to cultivate that mindset of walking in love. And I don't mean I walk around now like, <sighs> no, I'm not saying that, but there's certain elements of mercies that love opens up for you. There's a different way of thinking when you have love being the instrument of how you operate from or of where you operate from. And I think that is something that is very important. I can't look at my brother or sister or neighbor or anybody like that and feel I am justified to think certain things that I think towards them because I'm justified. No, I still need to operate from a place of love. And that's, um, I'm not gonna lie to you uh, guys, that's, <laughs> That's not always easy, especially as I'm, I don't know, not giving anything like, but it's just kind of, I, I, I find that quite difficult. I have found it quite difficult. Love, 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 love. Don't get me wrong. It's easy for me to sit here and be like, I want to be loved. But when I think about how I give love, I'm like, oh man, that's, it's just so snappy. It's so, you know, and it, it really can't be that way. It just can't. It just can't. No, 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 no. Honestly, like, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, th I'm thinking as I'm speaking, I'm, I'm thinking about things, which is normal. Sure. Um, but I don't want there to be a filter. I want it just to come naturally, like just for it to be a, as, as you're seeing it. But yeah, kind of really putting yourself out there, really kind of wanting to be the, be the light, be the person that God wants you to be be the person that you were before he formed you in your mother's womb, you know. Um, but ultimately you want to 
love him, you want to demonstrate him, you want to demonstrate his nature, his characteristics, you want to be as close as possible, you want to know as you take your last breath that yeah I've done everything I can, I, I could, you know, and love is important man, it's, 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 I can't believe I'm even talking about this because I'm absolutely one of those people who are like, oh sorry, what, they did that, what, ha! <laughs> You must be silly. You think, and it 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 can't be that way. Yo yo yo, it can't. It can't. Um, just thinking about what's going on out there, I've been questioning myself. Like, but if if that person is meant to be called by God, and this is what's happening to them, then why why is is this going contrary? Blah 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 blah. But you know, like, who are we? And this is what was going on through my mind throughout the week. Like, I've seen certain things that have been, you know, happening and certain stories and people's opinions coming into play. And I've kind of just sat there and said, OK, I don't know anything about this. I wasn't there. But what do I think is the best line of action? And I promise you, I've always had an answer. Well, at the end of the day, Bible says, <laughs> flee from all appearances of evil. <laughs> that shouldn't be hard. Really? Like, oi, really? Is that how you want to go about everything? What happened to just stopping and just being like, I don't know what's going on, but I just want to plead the mercy of God upon that person's life, Father. And I pray that, you know, Whatever they're going through, the spirit of the living God will guide them and heal them and strengthen them. I mean, come on, is it really that hard? And it's only now that I'm like, mm. all right, fair enough. And I'm not saying anything's happened to me, but I'm just, I think what I said last, um, the last post was, draw near to God and he will draw near to, to you. I'm drawing near to him and as I'm drawing near to him yo I'm I'm seeing a reflection and I'm like <laughs> it's a reflection that ooh, mm, mm. and I guess it is I guess that's that's how the journey works I guess that's how the whole process works the more you allow yourself to die the more he increases and that's And that's what's been exposed to me of recent is that I'm very kind of, I can be very, my views can be very black and white and life isn't about that, you know. Um, it's not, it's not about that. It, it really isn't about that. It's about the grace that we have been given. It's about the mercy that has been shed upon our lives. You know, the justice is for those who are righteous and mercy is for those who aren't. Um, that's where I step in. Because <laughs> I know without his mercies, oh my gosh, it'll be game over. Oh, for hundred percent. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? No, stop. I'm not. I'm not even going to go there. <clears throat> you know. And it is. It is just about taking, just taking a pause, and being like, who am I without him? The only reason why I'm able to stand. The only reason why I'm able to go about my daily business. The only reason why I have this is because of the mercies of God. Were it not for His mercies, we would have been completely consumed. And it is that. So if God can demonstrate that towards us if God can show us that kind of mercy then surely we should make sure it's our daily mantra to walk around with love being so quick to offer mercy being quick to love being quick to just I'm not saying like someone offends you and because you know you're a Christian and because you know the mantra is to to love your neighbor and forgive yeah sure I'm not saying you know bury your head under the sand and ignore a situation, no, address it, but I mean, let it not come from a place of vengeance or anger or, you know, let it genuinely come from a place of how Jesus said it on the cross, forgive them for they know not what they do. Because at the end of the day, you're never going to know if someone knows what they're doing or not. You may have an idea, but you don't know the heart of man. 
Yes, okay, we've been given a little cue. The heart of man is desperately wicked cue. But I, what, what I'm saying is you, at that very moment, you, you're not a heart reader. Only God knows. So if you've really got qualms, you can go back to your father and say, you know what, <laughs> and let him handle your business. But at the end of the day, if, if you serve a God who is for you, and he will not be mocked, what makes you think you will be mocked? If you're following in his footsteps, if you're doing everything according to the way he wants you to, he wants it to be done, what you think is he's gonna allow you to be disgraced, mocked, embarrassed, shamed? Nah. Mm -mm. And this is something that I've this is something I've just over the week I've just been like honestly last week or oh, when I did the last video I was like mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm, progress, progress, progress. <laughs> mm, bit by bit. <clears throat> Definitely not living in condemnation. Definitely not like walking down with my head. But it's just like, yeah, there's, this is a journey. It's a process. Rome definitely wasn't built in a day and it's just like, okay, but <laughs> this ain't for the swift. <laughs> this is me having to be like, okay, check yourself. And it is, it's exciting because yes, you're filled with this kind of zeal, but you don't want to be foolish about it. You genuinely, you genuinely want it to be as clear as day. You want it to be as truthful and as honest and as spirit filled and spirit led as possible. So that's just what I wanted to talk about really is just, People are going to tick you off. I'm going to tick people off. And that's one thing I always say when I'm like, when I kind of have a conversation with myself, which is often, <clears throat> all is well, chill. But like, when I'm trying to reason with, with, with myself and trying to rationalise the situation, I'm always like, well, at the end of the day, if that person respected me, if that person really, you know, blah, 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 then this wasn't, wouldn't have been done. But then I think to myself, how many times have I offended someone how many times have i let someone down oh people <laughs> and genuinely if people had that same kind of mentality as i did i'm not sure i would be here today you know that's one way of looking at it yes i'm here by the sheer grace and mercy of my jesus absolutely my lord and savior hmm. forever will worship and serve him and thank him But he's the one who has allowed people to forgive me. You know? And it's something that Yeah, it just it just it just it just kind of It just made me think a bit. It just made me think about this thing called life and how we how we walk it. It's not about people, but it's generally about how we are representing the one true living God saviour my lord jesus it is about him everything is about him and i've so often been like mm -hmm, i'm pleasing him no you're not because you've done it out of anger like you say you love god but every time you mention that person's name you're like what what why why is that person's name being brought up uh, you need to chill and I'm not just using that as an example, I'm just using every area of your life. If you, if there are things that you feel like, I don't know, are contrary to how a, a true child of God who has been given rest is acting, then just question yourself. And it's not about condemning yourself. He does not want you to condemn yourself. No, no, no. He wants you to recognise that without him, you are weak. And that's a joy. My strength, honestly, is knowing that I am weak without him, period good in my opinion why should i be strong how dare i <laughs> sorry <laughs> it's true though how, how dare i without him i am nothing so um yeah going for i'm going to be very intentional intentional last week about getting to study the word of god cultivating a relationship you know being able to be well versed in the word of god because we know our enemy goes to and fro roaring like a lion looking from whom he may devour so we need to be really equipped and i spoke about the armor of god you know the the, the breast 
breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation, you know, allowing your thoughts to be embedded in him, allowing everything to be, you know, under the subjection of Christ's authority. Because ultimately it starts here. That's why God said, by the renewing of your mind. It's so important. Um, but, I'll, but then, partnered with that is love. If I've done all of that and love is absent, I'm just living a healthy lifestyle. Minus God. There's a good way of living, but there's a God way of living. And I'm all about the godly way of living. So, yeah. <laughs> that was a quick message, because I last week, I looked back at the, like, oh, the week before, and I was like, <laughs> oh, more that battle that you went through, it is definitely telling. I was exhausted, and I... I I felt it within my spirit and now I'm not saying I'm like I'm you know we've all got a journey we've all got a process but I just feel like it's the, it's making a lot more sense it's it's making a lot more sense and I know there are certain things that can frustrate one if you feel like you're doing something but yet you're not getting you're not yielding any results yeah just just don't get frustrated don't allow yourself to give up or or be like oh just take a step back look at yourself in the mirror and think what is it ultimately that God wants of me Love, most important commandments. Love him with all your mind, soul, heart, everything. And then love thy neighbors as he has loved you. So that's what I have to say. Hope you had a good week. Um, <laughs> That is that. Seriously, that was that was what was on my mind. Um, that was what's been on my mind. It's it's sometimes it's really, it can be. I know I've definitely experienced that when you put one foot one foot forward and you feel like you've taken ten step back. It's just like oh, but you know this race is not for the swift. We keep on going. We keep on. So long as our heart is in line with Him. So long, as, so long as we've positioned ourselves to receive, to be humbled, to surrender to him, to understand that he is ultimately the one who will steer our um, path, it's good. He doesn't expect us to be perfect. I don't think he's looking for perfect people. I don't think he's looking for well, you know, strong, together people. I, I, I don't think so. I think he's looking for people like you and I. <laughs> Well, I will me anyway. <laughs> I need him. So yeah, I, I just wanted to share that. I hope it generally encourages someone. Um, as I've been discovering this and listening and being like, okay. And it helps to talk to people as well. If you don't have anybody around you, like I, I Google sometimes and just try and f I ask questions and articles come up and I'm like, oh, okay just find yeah just 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 to help with my understanding because I definitely don't know everything but it's nice to just be able to lay it down and have it and receive that kind of revelation and understanding and put it into action so yeah guys I don't want to go off on a but yeah that that is pretty much what I have to share with you I hope you are all well truly um yeah and until the next time Please, if, if this is encouraging, thumbs up for me, subscribe, please um, leave a comment. I love reading the comments. Yeah, uh, it's because I'm like, oh, that's a good one. I'm going to talk about that. You know, it's, it's just it's just it's just nice. It's, it's also encouraging. But yeah, um, until the next time, guys, stay blessed um, and well. And I will speak to you soon. Bye for now.